Hello and welcome to Clary. Wanted to spend a couple minutes with you talking about the idea of detection. Uh, I wish I could tell you that, boy, as an organization, if you focus on cybersecurity, if you understand your network structure, if you understand the risk inherent in that structure, that you know the odds are no one's ever going to penetrate your networks. And the sad reality is that is not that just isn't reality. That's not likely. I think all of us have to operate under an assumption that we can take steps to reduce the probability of an adversary penetrating our network, but it becomes very difficult to guarantee that an adversary will never penetrate the network. And therefore you need to spend some time thinking about, so how do I detect an adversary in my network? You know, what does normal look like? What does normal not look like? How can I tell there's an adversary in my network how does that adversary's activity manifest itself? Are they making network changes? Are they assuming different identities? Am I watching data extraction? Are they uploading malware and other programs that I need to be worried about? They're gonna to lead to you know, a ransomware set of activities. They're gonna lock down my ability to either access my data or increasingly op access my operating technologies, which is at the heart of my ability to generate outcomes. Think about how many organizations today have so automated the production side of their business that you know the ability to now externally access that and in some way interdict it, i.e. degrade it or lock it down, is now a very real possibility. So I, I think there's some there's a strong need to think about so what does detection look like? How do I monitor for threats and anomalies? What's normal and what's not normal in my network? And I think by doing that, that's also the first step in not just ensuring better security, but that is also a core element in ensuring resiliency. Because resiliency is built around the idea that even if an intruder gains access, I have processes, structures, and I have created capabilities in my network structure that are designed to enable my ability to continue to operate, which is at the heart of resiliency. You know, hey, even though an adversary is in, I have to keep moving forward. I have to keep operating. I just can't unilaterally shut everything down. So detection becomes a very important component of a broader cybersecurity strategy. And detection, I think, is not only a key in your broad strategy, but it specifically helps you in response. And it specifically helps you in the idea of actually executing resiliency in the face of an adversary's penetration, which I, I hope never happens to all of you. I sure hope that never happens. I will tell you in my previous life, I have had the joy of having to deal with multiple nation state actors penetrating networks when I was part of the government, as well as, which I found the hardest thing to believe of all, criminal actors who would come after you know, data in the network. I, I thought the government would be somewhat immune to ransomware. Boy, was I wrong there. So I, bottom line, I do think detection is an important part of a strategy.